Okay, so this is the finished rocket motor. It weighs nine pounds. Should have 100 pounds of thrust for 13 to 15 seconds uh, using predominantly recycled materials. So let's see if we can uh, make a solid rocket motor. Uh, be really cool, hopefully very earth friendly. We'll see how well everything combusts. Uh, we'll just see how well it works in general. So fingers crossed. Um, this is a relatively big motor. It could probably send a rocket, you know, 20,000 feet in the air if it's well designed or, you know, four miles ish. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm kind of nervous about it. It's taken a long time for me to actually get this thing together. It's not easy grinding up six to 12 aluminum cans and some, uh, and some shotgun shells and water bottles. So uh, fingers crossed on this guy. So hopefully it doesn't blow up and hopefully it doesn't just turn into a smoke bomb. See all the shotgun shells. Let's see if maybe turn on the rocket power. Bunch of aluminum cans. We're gonna see if we can make a rocket out of some of this stuff. I'm gonna clean up all this garbage. You probably can't see it all on camera, but there's paper, shotgun shells. There is a orange juice bottle right there bunch of other shotgun shells and all kinds of other shit. So we're gonna see if we can turn a this stuff uh, potentially into rocket propellant. Um, probably a jug of bleach. Hopefully it was empty when they shot it. Not entirely sure how I can grind up a water bottle, but we'll try. Oh, Amazon box. That's not too bad for the environment. It still should be recycled. Oh, good, more aluminum pants. Oh, but that's acrylic. We're keeping that. Probably some award for somebody. That'll be really nice to just take a rasp or something to it and file it all down. Okay, so that's a start. I've got a bunch of aluminum cans, some milk jugs, shotgun shells, simply peach. So, this is the aftermath of the uh, acrylic water bottles, pine cones, uh, shotgun shells, and everything ground up. So that's what I just scraped off the bench. So. Now let's put it through the sieve. That's what all the recycled fuel looks like, ground up. Shotgun shells, pieces of rubber, water bottles, and that'll be 15% of the mix. So now we just gotta make some aluminum powder from the cans we collected. This might take a while. Okay, so many hours later, and a grinding wheel that's completely garbage now, um, we're left with a pretty good amount of aluminum powder. Um, all this stuff is about, wow, this really goes in close. Um, this should all be less than 150 microns in diameter. So that's the liquids and then the aluminum powder. Now just add the uh, ground up plastic. Doesn't that look so weird? Holy crap, that's bright. Fingers crossed this time I put a ton of propellant chunks in it that may clog the nozzle, but hopefully it'll at least light. Keep burning, keep burning. No! 
Okay, one, too fuel rich. Two, not a small enough nozzle. Uh, it just kind of chuffed uh, coming up to pressure. Tell it come like it, it chuffs faster and faster and faster as the pressure comes up, but it still isn't high enough for a sustained burn rate. So we're gonna have to try that again at some point, but uh, you know, with a smaller nozzle, but uh, it, it has promise. I definitely need to add more aluminum and more oxidizer because it wasn't fully burning. And uh, increasing the pressure will definitely help. We're gonna do that. <laughs>